All right, folks, so it is time once again for another Latchkey Food Review. And this morning, I am going to be trying out Hot Pockets, Hot Ones, Smoky Green Chili Cheesesteak. These are brand new, and they just come out not long ago, and uh, they got three different flavors, and I figured I'd give these a try out first. So, first thing you want to do is you want to open up your hot pockets. You want to put them in the provided sleeve that they give you, so you can stick them into the microwave. It helps them cook and crisp up a little bit better. And you don't want to over microwave these things, and you don't want to under microwave these things. So. My, my suggestion is you know you start off about two minutes and uh, work your way from there. With mine, it took about two minutes and 60 seconds. I have made hot pockets plenty enough time, so about 260 is good for my microwave. But yours may vary. All right, so once they're done, we just want to take them out of the microwave. And then we want to take them out on the sleeve that they provided with them. Oh man. And uh, the color on these look pretty good to me. And they are done. Nothing left to do but go give them a try out. Uh, now it is moment of truth time, folks. Uh, smoky green. Chili cheesesteak, but hot ones, I mean. Brought the box with me. Smoky green chili. Cheesesteak. So, we got cheesesteak in here, I suppose. And chili at the same time. Alright, so. They're still kind of hot. Okay, see that? I see the little green chilies in there. Mm. That's got some bite to it, y'all. It's got a little heat to it. Definitely wouldn't feed this to the kids. <laughs> Unless they like the hot stuff. Now this is just one of the hot ones that they have out there. They have uh, three different ones. I have all three different kinds. I'm going to review individually and separately. Because with Hot Pockets, depending on what you are having, can vary in taste, in flavor from hot pocket to hot pocket, such as the uh, popular ham and cheese and the pepperoni. Might as well be two different food items altogether. Sure, the crust kind of tastes similar on all of them, but what's inside is definitely what makes the difference. I have yet to uh, see anything that resembles cheesesteak in here. <laughs> I 
it kind of reminds you of some of the burritos you get out there. The real cheap ones, you know, in the freezer sections at stores. Or the hot ones. <laughs> if it had beans in there, it would be almost perfect identical to some of those, but it doesn't. But the flavor is kind of similar to that. I mean, it does have a... kind of a cheesesteak quality to it. It definitely doesn't taste like it's got any kind of uh, Mexican spices on there like cumin or anything like that on there. I would love to see them make A Mexican style hot pocket at some point. I think these would be a good opportunity for that. Mm. That's the chili and cheesesteak. There is some cheesesteak in there. floating on top of it. Oh yeah, my eyes are watering a little bit off of these. I got a little bit of eye watering going on here. So they got a little bit going on on the spicy side. Whew. It's not over the top though. Green chilies tend to do that to you sometimes. They can be they can really surprise you. They can be hotter at some times than others, at least with my experience. That's the way green chilies have always been for me. Today, for some reason they're hotter. They got the little tear ducts going a little bit. I saw these, another kind of new out there, and I want to give them a good old tree out. All three flavors, uh, give them a good fair review each one. Seen that green, that smoky green chili on there? I was really looking forward to this one, and uh, whew, it's got me uh, got me going here. All right, folks. I'm gonna finish this one up. Reflect on it. Talk about it in the afterthoughts. And we'll give it a score. Coming right up. Alright folks, so my final afterthoughts on the uh, smoky green chili cheesesteak hot ones by Hot Pockets. Uh, hey listen, if you like the flavor of green chilies, green chili peppers, they really shine through in this uh, hot pocket. I mean, they overpower the flavor of everything else going on inside there. That's why it was hard for me to taste the cheesesteak in there, but it is there. You can, as you, you know, <laughs> start to adjust to all the flavors going in, you can tell it's there. Uh, it kind of tastes sort of like their uh, Philly cheesesteak po hot pocket if you ever had one, but the slices aren't as thick or, or aren't as big, and there's some... Uh, <laughs> uh, I, th I think the, the cheese steak, you know, and the, uh, the green chili is, is basically what is supposed to be in there along with the cheese. 
Uh, oof. And it still got my eyes watering a little bit. I've been sitting here a minute. My nose is running. The whatever's in the hot pepper, you know, they uh, uh, they got my sinuses, you know, uh, flowing right now. So just be warned that uh, that is going to happen if you give these good old tree out for yourself. Uh, I really enjoyed them. Uh, I'm going to have to give them uh, two thumbs up. I mean, for what they are, you know, a quick, you know, uh, meal, like some kind of, you know, little uh, hot pocket type of deal, you know, you want something to eat, those are uh, a good choice, you know, get something in your belly real fast, you know, or, you know, if you just want uh, a snack, you know, you can grab one or two of those, you know, make a great snack. Uh, I think they're pretty good, and I think you'll like them too, and if you give them a try, uh, let me know down in the comments. Uh, sometimes you can find these on sale. I got these on sale at the grocery store. Alright, folks. That is all I have for this review. So, until the next one, you folks have a good one.